Hi, welcome to Netterman's IWF Connect booth. Uh, my name is Travis Hanum, and today we're going to go through a demonstration of the Netterman Insight platform. It's an industrial IoT platform that equips our products with a series of sensors to measure functions of motors, pressure, chain conveyors. Through those sensors, it's going to transmit the data to the cloud. There on the cloud, the data is available to be consumed, evaluated through dashboards that are available on the web and mobile devices. Uh, that data can be turned into alarms. It can be turned into regular reports. So whoever's consuming it, uh, either locally at the site or off-site, uh, they can customize that data in order to get what they're looking for. Then the Netterman staff would also have access to the customer data. Uh, in the event that there's questions, there's troubleshooting, or there's collaboration on how to optimize your dust collection system's performance, that's what we would be here for and, and access to our expertise and we can go in there and monitor and, and offer suggestions on how to better equip the system or better utilize the system as well. And then that turns into actionable information that gets put back into your systems and hopefully improves the overall operations of the dust collection system. And it's all part of what we would call our, our My Air offering. So it includes a great product, uh, it includes the cloud, and then it includes access to expertise and our service group to maximize the value of your dust collection system. So locally, you've got some kind of a local control HMI. It's going to have some type of a user interface that provides the local data. It actually is what you're interacting with on a daily basis to operate. Then you're going to have some kind of analytics dashboard uh, where you're going to be able to go in and look at the product and look at the uh, different pieces of data and the widgets of the data that's being generated by the sensors in order to understand what's going on with the system. And then you can also uh, consume that data through some type of automated reports that can be emailed to you, or you can have access to them through the Netterman Insight system. And one of the nice features about Netterman Insight, if you have multi-site operations, uh, from one location you can uh, have a snapshot or a look at what's going on in multiple sites and be able to compare and track you know, common data or relative data from uh, one remote location. Okay, so there's a little bit of an overview of Insight. Uh, let's actually go in and we'll look at a live demonstration of Insight. Um, when you log into the system, the first screen you're going to see is some type of a either a graphical map or a list of the different sites uh, that you would have available. For a lot of customers, it's just one site. And within these icons and with pins here, you can actually see you know what the status of the system is let's go to an individual site an individual demonstration site and we'll uh I will click on this and we'll actually be able to uh, go to a more detailed look at the individual site when you click on the local image you can actually see the factory itself so if you had multiple dust collection systems at the same site you'd be able to know if it was the one on the west side of the building the north side of the building or some type of different locations but let's click on it and let's get into the system details and when you first log in, but you'll see a, a header at the very top of the dashboard. Now, the first dashboard, so it's going to indicate you know, what type of dust collect and then just kind of a representative image uh, to help the users recognize you know, which product and which dashboard they may be looking at. It's going to give you an overall status. Is the system running? Has it been shut down? Is it in error? Is it just ready and waiting to be turned on? And then it's going to have a alarm log where any active alarm, so uh, anything that's popped up in the, in the recent history that hasn't been cleared uh, by the users as of yet will show up in here. So it gives you a nice, just quick view hey, is my system uh, good? Is it operational? And then anything that might need attention early on. And up here in the upper right corner, we also have a indicator of, uh, it's really an alarm log history. So if you click on that, uh, you'll see you know, some of the more recent alarms. And when it's alarm, we really we mean a notification of what might've happened. Uh, with the uh, with the system that needed some attention or something we wanted to alert the users on based upon their preferences and uh, what they were looking at. We can go back to our other screen, uh, to the primary dashboard. And so when we go back here, and let's take a little bit deeper look on, on what's there, but all the critical components of the dust collector uh, system are represented here. You have fans on this system, and in particular, you actually have three different fans. So you can see how each individual fan is operating, how much power is it consuming, what's the current RPM, what's the current, is the status, and also what the vibration level is on the fan as well, all of which are critical parameters to making sure that the system's operating 
in correctly. And again, if you've got one fan or multiple fans, you're able to look at that on an individual basis, not just an overall alarm uh, that didn't necessarily know what was going on with. Then on the filtration side, so for the actual filters, uh, the bag house that's operating, you can see the airflow amount. Uh, you can actually see what the nominal pressure is. And again, these all have uh, ranges, you know, is it running in the nominal range? Is it running in a caution range where, you know, perhaps something needs to be looked at, but it's, uh, it's still running with the normal parameters. And then, you know, red would indicate that there it's running outside of a, um, outside of a nominal range. Uh, you have the discharge of the dust collector. So the hoppers or the containers that the uh, sawdust or the contaminant would be generating into. Are the levels okay? Does it need to be emptied? Uh, and then there's a rotary airlock that typically feeds those containers as well. You know, what's the status of that rotary airlock? Is it running yet? Or is it just ready to run in uh, in this case? Um, then, you know, for some of the auxiliary pieces of equipment, uh, you may have a transport fan that is, uh, you know, sending the collected material to a, a larger container or returning it to some type of a process. So you can measure the status and uh, the operation of those devices as well. And then for the regeneration fans, this is a reverse airbag house. So on the regeneration fans, you know, what's the status? What are they currently doing? So again, you get a great snapshot of each of the sensors, each of the devices that's monitoring the function of that can be displayed on these dashboards. And each dashboard is customizable. So we have out of the box dashboards that come, but it's based really upon the configuration of your product and the devices and the configuration, again, that makes up your system. But each of these widgets are customizable. They can be moved around. Uh, they can show the data in slightly different variations. Uh, and we can work with you on a dashboard or a presentation of the data that makes the most sense for, uh, for your particular operation. So from a, a time standpoint, uh, one of the nice things about the Insight system as well is you can actually go back in time and seeing what happened. So currently you see up here that this is data from this week. It's showing again all the all the data that happened from seven seven calendar days ago. So if you click on that button right there, you can basically see what happened in any given time. So this is great for trending and kind of seeing, you know, hey, is my system running as normal? Has there been any changes? You know, is it trending in one way or the other? So let's say if you just wanted to see how my system run over this month, and you wanted to look at this on a monthly basis, you can click on on the previous month, give it a second, it'll go back, and it's going to uh, update with the data from what happened over the last calendar month. And as you track actually over top of the data, you're going to be able to see individual data points as part of this as well. So say you wanted to, you had a condition, you know, something just happened in the last 30 minutes. So, you know, somebody called you and you needed to try to check uh, what might have happened to the dust collection system. You click on the last 30 minutes and then you can actually track the data when it's zoomed in like this and actually see at any given point in time, what was the filter pressure drop? You know, what was the the regeneration fan pressure, uh, which is great for troubleshooting or kind of knowing what happened in any given situation. Uh, you can go back in time and see or look at trends and other things that happen with your uh, with your device. One of the other nice things about uh, Insight is you can actually create reports. Uh, so if we click on this icon over here, and then you can create different reports. So I just clicked on that, but all the data that's being captured in the widgets or in the dashboards, you are able to go in and create customizable reports. So if there was somebody that was interested interested in just the motor operation or somebody that wanted an overview, you can create a format or a report. And again, it's going to give you a lot of the same data, but just in a summarized format on what you're seeing live uh, within the, the dashboards and the widgets. So in this particular demo report, we've got a history of the pressure drop across the dust collector. We've got the status of each of the fans, both the power consumed and the vibration levels on the fans. Uh, we've got an alarm summary that occurred within the last 30 days. And then we also provide with the Netterman service contract. So if there's any questions, concerns, you know, there's the contact information that, that you're able to uh, reach out to Netterman and, and get support on this particular system. And then again, you can kind of change the time range on these reports. They can be created for each individual. They can be sent on different frequencies. So if you wanted to get a daily report, a weekly report, a monthly report, or multiple reports for any individual component, all of that is configurable and, and you can set up for your particular site or operation. Or another nice thing that you can do uh, on the dashboards is you can actually go through 
and you can click on this uh, this blue menu up here and you can actually export the data into a CSV file. So I'll click on that and then you'll see up here a message that one file is exporting, that it's done now. So you click on that, you can download the file and you can see it pops up as a zip file on here. So again, that's a CSV format. So you're gonna be able to open that up in Excel, organize it, cut and paste it into a standard report or format that you've already got for your process or for your operation. Uh, so that's a great way to to do that. Having this data it really empowers you as an owner and operator of your dust collection system, all of your plant, uh, to really be informed and understand uh, what's going on with your process.